Hi, in today's video, we're going to talk about biomedical engineering. What is biomedical engineering? What are the top colleges in the country for biomedical engineering? Top colleges in the world for biomedical engineering? What are the top companies in the world for biomedical engineering? Top companies in the country for biomedical engineering. Generally, when you ask students, for example, about engineering, they're very comfortable with computer science engineering, information technology, mechanical, ENC, electrical, civil engineering. But you ask them, for example, what does a biomedical engineer does? They're not pretty sure about it. A lot of parents also don't know about it. Let's say, for example, you walk into a hospital, you walked into a hospital, and the technologies that you have seen in your lifetime, probably with the X-ray machine, right? You would have seen the MRI in most cases, the PET machines, or you've seen is ECG machine, right? You generally, if you've seen any movie scene in a hospital and you've seen a critical scene, you would see an ECG machine. An ECG machine is one that measures the electrical signal of the heart. Now, there are technologies out there that, for example, does a replacement heart. A replacement heart is the one that the doctors use uh, as a replacement when they're operating on your heart, or replacement lungs out there. Now, all these technologies are instrumentation technologies and is a part of biomedical engineering. What does an engineer do? An engineer is not a scientist, but he takes the science that's developed by the scientist and sees how you can apply it, you know, how you can use it to make things or products that will make it useful to anyone, to human race or any species in the world. So engineer is the one who's taking technology or sciences developed by the scientists and making useful products. In this case, a biomedical engineer is the one that is using sciences out there to develop technologies or products that will make things useful. Now, if you think, for example, vaccines that are going to be developed for the COVID-19, for example, the scientists will probably develop the vaccine, but it's going to be the biomedical engineer that will take this technology and says how it's going to reach the human population, how it's going to make it, you know, manufacture it, how it's going to be delivered, how it's going to be made cheaper, all these comes under biomedical engineering. This is one part of biomedical engineering. Now, the second part of biomedical engineering is called biomolecular engineering. Let's say in the, in the going forward, if you see tissue culture or molecular culture, and you see technologies evolving towards replacement organs coming towards, that's going to be biomolecular engineering, which is going to be a part of biomedical engineering. Now, that's the second part. The third part of bio is called biomechanical engineering. You've seen replacement hips, replacement knees, and you've seen, for example, contact lenses. These are materials that can be used in the human body to make it operational again. So if you see, for example, lenses, you know, the contact lenses, 20 years ago, they were probably there. But with 20 years, they've constantly evolved and made better by biomedical engineers. There are three parts in biomedical engineering. The first part was instrumentation, that is te technology that is used to use the, you know, for example, to see the human body, understand the human body, and technology I've mentioned, or technology that I've not mentioned, like for example, angiogram or angioplasticity and so on. The second part was biomolecular engineering, part of biomedical again, that is into developing tissue culture or developing organ culture, or developing organs for the human body and so on. The third part was biomechanical engineering that comes into, let's for example, parts for the human body like the hips, the knees or material for the knees or contact lenses or any other parts, valves in the heart. All this is part of biomechanical engineering. If you look at the human population and the average lifespan 150 years ago, the average lifespan would have been between 50 to 55 years old, right? Most of the people died of infectious diseases, 90% of the people. Right? Now then comes antibiotics, it comes vaccinations, and the human lifespan increases significantly. Right? If you look at another 60 years ago, or the time of Indian independence, 1947, people generally lived at the age of around 60 years old was the average lifespan. And that is why, for example, when pension was formed, well, it was people retired at the age of 60, they probably lived another three, four years, before they, you know, you know, passed on. And that is why, you know, in pensions were made or retirement was made at the age of 60. Now with the evolution or with the technology that has come in, or, uh, come in biotechnology, biomedical engineering, and things that have happened, for example, in the last 50 years, 
human lifespan now is in its 80s, you know, depending on which country you are in, you're at 90s. And with technology coming in, people are saying, for example, in, by the age of 2030, whatever lifespan you've left, you can double it in years ahead. So biomedical engineering is going to play a very key role in improving the lifespan of humans. If countries are prosperous the way they are right now and things, you know, the human the world is able to sustain it, people would live past 150 years from now and that's going to be the reality. And that is where biomedical engineering will play a big role. What are the top colleges in the country to study biomedical engineering? The IITs are. Followed with that is the NITs. I'm not going to tell which IIT is the best. We've done those videos before. But the examinations for them are J Main, J Advanced. Following that, we have the W uh, West Bengal JE gets you into Jadavpur universities. We have TBIT Vellur, Anna universities. If you're looking at private the colleges, universities, lovely Thapar University and so on. The best colleges in the world for studying biomedical engineering, either in their bachelor's level or in the master's level. Definitely it is St. John's uh, Hopkins University, Yale, MIT, Stanford, Columbia, Michigan, uh, UT Texas, Rice University and Texas Arlington, so on. Now these are the best colleges in the world. You can pursue your undergrad, but the recommended process would be you do your you know, undergrad in India with your master's and PhD level in the US universities for biomedical engineering. What are the top companies in the world uh, for biomedical engineering? Johnson & Johnson. Roche, we have Sinopharma, we have Bayer, Pfizer, GlaxoSmith, Novartis, General Electric, and so on. The best companies in India, Biocon, Wokart, Primal, GSK, and so on. Now, in this video, I've spoken to you or given a few ideas about biomedical engineering. There are some excellent links out there, lectures from Yale universities. I've put that links below. Please look at the video to get a more detailed idea about what is biomedical engineering. If you like this video, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.